So we were gonna uh, we were talking about the murder shack, which is how I think I met Rob the first time there. Yeah, right? I think so. What? It, uh, how did? It, so wait, th- does Zach know what the murder shack is? I doubt it. I feel like I've heard that mentioned, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. It, uh, it's quite a place. <laughs> it sounds I, like I, it. I haven't <laughs> been there in a long time myself, but uh, at least years ago, it was uh, really quite a place. All right. Not in a good way. So, well, I d- it's called Murder Shack. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't anticipate it, it being it was a great. Not, if, if I knew of another place called Murder Shack, I would go because of the name. Like, I guess if it were like a bar, I'd go to I'd go oh, to yeah. Murder Shack. Is yeah, this Harper. like an actual shack or is it a bar? No, it's it was a house, somebody's house. I did, yeah, I didn't I didn't know the full story. Was it like um, Ian's mom like moved to California, and then she just left left well, the no, house it, for him? It started be- with. Uh, what from what I remember, like, because you know, I I've known Ian. Well, I went to high school with him. Yeah, yeah, way longer than me. And uh, it, it, even then, his mom was like never there because she was she worked for a airline. Oh, so okay. she was just like gone all the time. So it was just like him and his sister in this house. Yeah. And they, you know, it would basically do whatever you want in this place. Yeah. Which, you know, so it got kind of out of control and it was really yeah. dirty and really gross and just that, that kind of sounds it, like swarly manor you were at my place over off of it, irving right. it right? looked mm-hmm. like a like a hoarder place like their entire upstairs was just full of boxes of shit uh, and like ours the bathrooms there was a bathroom upstairs and on the main floor that like neither of them actually worked and it was just disgusting <laughs> i didn't know about this you told me about our that, bathrooms are pretty that she had a huge fucking bird in the bathroom. yeah f- for a long time w- w- his sister had this, like, this giant, like, it looked like a mutant cockatoo. Alive, right? <laughs> it was alive. Okay, <laughs> because you're talking about dead birds. <laughs> it, it, it had its uh, its feathers clipped, so it couldn't fly. Okay. But this thing, so this thing would sit. Was it in a cage? On top of the, no. It what? It would sit on top fuck? of the door in of the closet in the bathroom. And, like, <laughs> it would be real quiet most of the time until you were in the room with it. And it would just, like, make the loudest, most terrible fucking noise you ever heard. It seriously is kind of like, like if a, if a horror movie monster had Down syndrome and screamed at you. <laughs> it was, like, just this terrible noise. And... I I don't scare easy, but that thing I didn't want to walk near it. Like it was just terrifying. This You're just fucking freak probably, mutant bird. Probably assisted in constipation, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Scare, ah! Scaring the shit out of you. Well, you can't get any multitasking done in that sort of environment. <laughs> <laughs> God. You got, but but with all oh, with brother. all the hoarding and all the stuff around, you got to admit they're attempting. You know. I'm going to read a magazine, and then I'm going to put this dress on, and I'm going to have this cockatoo perch on me while I'm jacking out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can add different, some to the list. Different kind of multitasking. There. <laughs> yeah. The last time I was at the murder shack, I think they had like nine cats, and oh like God. they were just like... Although we took stray animals. so sure. I don't know if they like let the cats in. I think some they yeah, did, but that's, some they didn't. That's why it smelled so bad in there, because no one ever cleaned anything, yeah. so it was just yeah. like... Well, I would never... I would avoid going in. Like, but they had like an outside like patio, kind of like some like chairs. ours, like ours, <laughs> like the rabbit hole. Did, the you, back, did the you ever? Was actually pretty decent. That yeah, the backyard was cool with the fire pit. Yeah. So but, yeah, I mean, I, I, anytime anybody asks like what it's like, I always mention the movie Gummo, because it's totally like fucking yeah, Gummo. I definitely yeah okay. Like just wet, damp magazines. <laughs> yeah. Who did you? Who did you? And, get it, into and it doesn't it help. Smells like shit. Who did you get into an uh, everything in the kitchen is moldy and disgusting. Oh, you don't yeah. want to open the fridge it, because it's full of flies. Nice. You know. Yeah. You made There's always a random person stuff. ranting something because they're <laughs> tripping on something. Yeah. And then, and oh my god, like I, I I always remember like the first time I the, went there, the wreck of a basement where it looks <sighs> like definitely looks like people had been murdered. Yeah, you told me about the rabbits. <laughs> I didn't know there was a rabbit nest. Yeah, in there. there had been <laughs> what? Like a, Jesus uh, Christ! Uh, I want to see uh, this. Either a, a or multiple rabbits that had been down there. Can but I? Like, is this at place one still point had died, and we're just uh, still there. Oh God! The, it, the, the house nice. still exists. It's still there. Is still, Ian still there? Still, yeah. 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 yeah I, I, I is it still like, like that? Months. I don't think yeah, it's yeah. as bad. No. Uh, like I said, I haven't been there in a long time myself. So. <laughs> no, they. 
they I, I pretty I, I remember the first time I went there and this is how I describe it to people is like I remember going and there's like this fancy dinner table and then there's two bags of really strong dangerous fertilizer spilled <laughs> all over the dinner table. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and and I remember like the last time I went there it was still there after like four years. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> what? Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> And then I remember l- how you were saying, like, the smell might have been coming from these flattened rabbits. You know, they make a nice, they make a nice rug for the basement. No, but oh. you know, eventually they get nice and mossy and just like good, good area to to grow some plants <laughs> or something. Man, or and loving memory, bust out those beetles. Yeah, there yeah, we the, go. The, there we go. <laughs> that's where you can. That's where you can cook your bones. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Well, See, the, it all comes full circle. I uh, oh, whoa, oh man, I forgot what I was gonna say. Shit. While you were talking about the murder shack, Sandy reminded of or reminded me of a party he threw at his former place, and he asked, Which "Was very murder shacky." Uh, yeah, uh, was was that the one with the mattress room? Is that where I slept that one? <laughs> <St. Patrick's Day? laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So the bone zone. Is I don't remember. Yes, people uh, had sex in there. Sure, uh, perfect. Often, I did not. But oh well, there's always next St. Patrick's Day. That house was a veritable opium den uh, (laughs) the good ones always are so i wound up one getting supremely blitzed like i I was pretty lit yeah and which i know it doesn't sound like me but you know it was st patrick's day so it was that that's right it was st patrick's day and i wound up striking up a conversation with this young woman and i i think it was nicole if that was nicole there nicole there was there a lot so, oh was, yeah, that's right. Nicole hates you. Yeah, she does. <laughs> so yeah, talking about me getting away with everything. I <laughs> guess I was saying some. You did not get away with these. <laughs> <laughs> She'll get over it. Uh, uh, no. So I shared uh, what some people would probably deem like a racist joke, and <laughs> she really, really enjoyed it. So I kept you going got in Ross mode and going. <laughs> oh yeah, and. By the end of it, apparently she was like really like ready to like tear my throat out. She and she gets like that too. She is an intense person. Sure. Well, I guess I can be too. When you are, and I've you wouldn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and like at the urging of a few of us, Bill, like shut the fuck up. You're pissing her. Like she's getting mad. Like actually angry. No, but the thing is. <laughs> All right, it's called networking. Yeah. I work in real estate, and that's like... It, it didn't network, okay? <laughs> <laughs> your network is your net worth, and I take great pride in mine. Oh, my God. I should have told more racist jokes she, to Emily. I've made... Yeah, that would have done it. <laughs> I've I've made mention of you to her before, and she still gets like an annoyed look on her face and goes, is that the dude from your old place that told the racist jokes? I was like, yeah, that's Bill. <laughs> Dude, I I remember what I was gonna I was gonna say at the murder shack when there was uh, I remember I don't I don't know what it was. you said there was nine cats. I think I think I remember when I came there there was like there was I don't a lot know. of cats. Like yeah, and he had dead ones in the freezer. Well, no, I was gonna say there what? was a de- no, no. I remember it what? smelling bad, and w- and it was because one of them died in the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's right, the dead cat in the wall. What yeah. the <laughs> fuck? This is real. Yeah, yeah. And so. Oh God! I'm, one of the cats had died from eating on the kitchen table. <laughs> Bob, Lord knows, it, <laughs> Just, God, God works in mysterious ways. But the cat passed, and it was winter, so the ground was too hard to bury it. So he had it in a bag in the freezer <laughs> for when the oh, spring thaw came. Oh my God! He wasn't going to sell it to a Chinese restaurant. Well, I don't know. I don't know what ever became of the cat. Last yeah. resort, maybe. You know. Right. Yeah. So respect of burial or a little bit of moolah. So I guess don't uh, trust dinner parties at the murder shack. <laughs> <laughs> now that you know what's on the kitchen table. I remember. And and I, remember I uh, so so you know we we, we know Greg and okay so uh, my buddy Greg he was a roommate of mine. This is so weird. Greg. Uh, I don't know how to explain. He he seemed like the very like. Like a typical like engineer working class guy, you know, like very like like listen to Metallica, very serious, like get the fuck out of here. Like, Why like is just, the Metallica thing part just, of that? Just, just I don't know, no, no. Just working class really dude is, loves though. Kirk Hammett. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. You, you know the guy I, that I I'm talking. I get it though. Like I, I, uh, I see that 
as being like a is it because Met- Metallica's uh, characteristic uh, sped up yeah. blues? Is that why? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so he um he, he like um for some reason he is like always that serious, stern guy. Like, like sometimes silent, sometimes. Mm-hmm. But I know that when he'd get fucking wasted, he'd start making out with guys. <laughs> There's a few times he did, that. and and one time there was this one kid. I don't know if I should mention his name. You know, I'm I, I, your brother. No, no, no. It wasn't him. No, no. There's this kid. We'll call him S. Okay. There's this kid named S. Okay. And he fucking he was that guy who's like he's like that bean counter when you're trying to say some fact and he's like no actually it was you, you know oh there was a hundred thousand people at this show no actually it was ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine he was like that guy who'd like shut the fuck up but he would constantly correct you at every little thing you know dude I'm just, that dude. Ju- just just so, S stands for Sandry yeah. so so <laughs> one day so, so it's me, fucking it's New Year's and everybody's going to Ian's room to like celebrate and Greg is already like in his underwear. Like trying to hug and kiss people, drunk <laughs> as fuck, and and this S guy is like just relaxing on the couch, and and that guy God. was pissed me off so much. Greg jumps on him and tries to make out with him. Everybody is in Ian's room, like Happy New Year, and I'm just like, All right, motherfucker, I'm gonna watch this. <laughs> 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 and he couldn't, he couldn't get off of him. He's like UFC make out. You know? Jesus, that sounds like sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it's funny. Sounds sometimes. like. <laughs> <laughs> the only other, the other time too, I remember, um, I f- I forgot what I said, but Ian got into a fight with me, and we like beat the shit out of each other. I don't know. First, Ross tells me that man, I can't believe you go into his fucking house. You beat the shit out of him, and you still hang out there the next day, and and that's what he told me first. And Isn't then that what friends do? Yeah, right. I mean, and then and then I and then I like go there the next day, and I, and Ross like I can't believe you fucking hanging out. I'm like. What do you mean? He's like, you guys got to fight and you, and like, I'm like, oh, when you said like, did you say I beat his ass? He's like, who said you won? Why the fuck are we here? I'm like, I don't know, man. I guess that that's the way shit flows. That's the way she goes. Boys will be boys. I'm trying to think. Locker room talk. And <laughs> I'm trying to think. Of, oh, I don't know if I should mention that trumpet story. Did I mention that before? I don't know. Okay. So Why, before you do. Why re- why are you hesitant to mention it? Because it's Cause pretty illegal. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's so not. Somebody, let, let's not. It's fine. It's fine. I, I'll, I'll, I'll say somebody. How long? How long ago was this? This was like Is ten pa- years ago. Okay, so it's past the statute of limitations. <laughs> sure. So so okay, there was. <laughs> Okay, well, so that is a good thing to establish. So, you know. <laughs> Just for any investigator out there listening, <laughs> right. you can no longer prosecute. Yeah. We'll call this kid question mark. Okay, okay that's his name question. Your brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, this kid. This okay. So question mark was this super hippie like fish type fan. Just so, I, I I don't know how to explain, but he um he like would always do shit to try and be cool. So these like very like suburban wigger type kids come by and. He wanted to kiss their ass. Like I, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm a suburban gangster too. I'm super. So there was a fucking blackout for like a two mile radius. They broke into somewhere, somewhere where the kids learn, and took the entire <laughs> music section, okay, and brought it to this house while everybody is like, "Where'd you get drunk around candles?" And we're like, "What the fuck is this? <laughs> it's just random." Like, okay, let's bring in the cymbal section. Now we're bringing the snares. <laughs> the now tubas. we're bringing the trumpet, you know? What like, the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? Bill, were you there for this? No. Uh. And and we ask him, we, we ask, I'm like, what the fuck did you do? And he's like, oh, well, well, no, we thought it was cool. We could, like, sell this stuff and make money and so- soup this place up. I'm like, no, dude, every single thing has a fucking serial number on it. Like, you're going to completely get arrested. Why the fuck would you? He's like, well, well I'll put it back. I'll put it back. I'm like, dude, it's already here. Just put it in the basement so Ian doesn't find out. And I remember there was like a few times they'd put like a ska album on and be like, everybody grab a trumpet. (laughs) 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 And then I, one of the funniest things, I'm not going to mention names again, just not get people mad, but somebody I knew that I was good friends with, he was, we'll we'll, we'll call him exclamation point. (laughs) We got to get better with these (laughs) names. He, he, uh, he, uh, he, So um, your brother. No, it wasn't. (laughs) No, but he, he was like that guy that everybody pulled crack jokes on and busted his balls. We um, we told him to grab the tuba because he was super skinny and lanky, and we didn't think he'd lift it. Well, before I took a shit in it. Oh! 
So, so oh god. So so you know the the note wasn't quite right. <laughs> <laughs> the the brown note. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, but um, yeah. Wait, did you say this was a good friend of yours? Yeah, this was a good friend of mine. Was that's what we do, was, man. Yeah, we shit in their tubas. Boys will be boys. What did you do when you were younger? I don't know. I didn't start fires at school. I. <laughs> like, <laughs> You weren't living. You had no fun. I was so repressed. My God, I thought I was always a cool kid. That's the Irishman in you. Is that right? Oh, I'm making up for lost time now. Ruining relationships with beautiful women at parties. Yes, that's true. I don't think (laughs) I know any other.